Hey, good morning, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is the first day of December. Yay. It is Tuesday, December 1st, man. I hope you all have a great day at school, great day at work. God bless every single one of you. Now, as I, I show you what we have, we have a lot going on, of course. We have uh, rivers that are flooding. We have the snow plus more snowfall coming, uh, especially for Pennsylvania and New York. We have some high winds that's causing some damages. We have sub-freezing temperatures in the south. Plus, at the, towards the end of the video, I'll do a, a run and show you the next storm that's brewing up that's going to cause more problems for the south. And this one is going to head to the, the central U.S. It's going to drop heavy snow or heavy enough over Oklahoma and Kansas. And then it's going to shoot to the northeast and it's going to bring snow again to the Midwest and the northeast. So... If you've never been here before, subscribe. I do this every single morning. Usually I do one every afternoon as well. I uh, apologize for yesterday. I was actually watching that 12-hour uh, uh, court session with Giuliani at the legislature of Arizona. So I was actually checking that out. Uh, no matter who you're for, if, if you, we have problems with our, our vote even being counted anything, it makes you just not want to vote. That's just the way I feel about it. Now, let me go through what we have here real quick, and then I'll show you what the weather is going to be. Uh, now, we have local storm reports of 53 and 54 miles per hour. That is flying through uh, the, over here towards Pierre. So watch yourself, because this is going to be going on all the way until 6 p.m. Okay, these wind advisories are all the way until 6 p.m., so don't, don't forget about that. Now, let me go through these flooding real quick so I can go ahead and take those off. Every pink one that you see is a flood stage problem that we are having. And all this pink you see down here is sub-freezing temperatures that you're going to be having. I'll go through that as well. Like this one here, over here in the corner of Oklahoma, it is up, it is a flood stage is at 20. But if you look right next to the arrow, that is actually 47 feet. So that means minor roads and, and canals, ditches, all that's going to be... Uh, flooded over and won't be impassable in some places like over here in North Florida your flood stage is 25.5 feet and it was observed at 22 feet so it's on the edge of, of spewing out and fl uh, streets flooding and all kind of problems like that like Georgia uh, South Carolina this one is at 11 feet and it's been observed at 13.7 feet so it's already flooding over so that's why you got a flood warning uh, for this area this one is right at flood stage at 15 feet. And then we have the ones towards the east coast that is at 10 feet flood stage and it's been observed at 13 feet. So it definitely is spewing over roads here. So be careful traveling around. I'm going to go up the coast with this and I'm going to go through your warnings real quick. Uh, this one right here in North Carolina is right at the flood stage of 12 feet. This one's also right at the stage. All these are, I saw already, all these pinks are ready to flood over. These are all right at the stage of it because we had a lot of rain and a lot of, uh, well, snow too, but a lot of rain and weather that came across for everybody. And it's bringing actually flood problems. I mean, I know the snow was a big event, but like over here in north, real high northeast by Maine and New Hampshire, they're going to be having flooding problems like this one here is at 7 feet and it's already over to 8 feet. And New York is right on the cusp all there. Pennsylvania is right on the cusp of it, right at 9 feet, right at 10 feet. But you got flood watch over here. This is all the way until 3 p.m. That's because the, the rain bands are still going to be hitting y'all for a while. That's all, all of y'all area. You got the flood warning until 9 o'clock this morning and until 3 p.m. Yep, these are for the local rivers. And you see how much rain they've been getting, one inch, two inch. These are all storm reports from what came across last night and this morning. So there's a lot of uh, heavy rain that's still going on for them over there, even though the snow is over here. They're getting all the worst in could a, could a warm air. It was on the east side of the storm. Now you're getting three inches over in Stark County. You're getting two inches over in Cortland. You got eight inches uh, on West Chardon, that was observed. That's one in Gawka County. Four inches in, on, by Cleveland Heights. Five inches by Boston Heights. Five inches by L Lorraine County. This is in Ohio. Five inches in Huron. Three inches in Perrysville. 
and then it gets less as it goes down. But y'all had some good some good storm reports. Now, over here by in Erie County, you got four inches, you got three inches uh, also. Now we got more snow that is going to be coming on our way. Uh, let me turn off these storm reports uh, and these observations so you can see everything that is going on. Now here's the snowfall. Uh, let me go through this last advisory. Uh, there is a big lake wind advisory uh, for for South Carolina. This is until nine o'clock this morning, uh, and you got the flood warning. It's all the way until seven forty-five p.m. Uh, tonight. Now for the south, real quick, let me go through these temperatures real quick so you can see, so I can turn them off. You're going to be in sub-freezing temperatures. It's going to drop down into the 20s for Texas, Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and South Georgia. I mean, even northern Florida is going to be, uh, the National Weather Service in Tallahassee has a freeze warning uh, from midnight tonight all the way until 7 a.m. Uh, Wednesday. This is all the way, it's going to be 28 to 30 degrees uh, every morning. So this morning it's going to be very cold, then it's going to warm up, and then tomorrow morning it's also going to be very cold. And this is until 8 a.m. on every morning that you got to watch out for. Uh, tomorrow morning until 7 a.m. for South Georgia. Until 10 o'clock for Louisiana and Mississippi, and until 8 o'clock this morning for uh, Texas as well. And then you got the winter storm watch over here by Oklahoma and Kansas. This is for the snow that's going to come from the next storm system that's going to be coming. So let me go ahead and get those off so I can go through everything with you. The convective outlook is some, some uh, severe thunderstorms, not major severe, but enough where it could be causing some flash flooding on the uh, east coast of, uh, right by Houston, of Texas. And then up here in Maine, you also got some flash flood warnings that's going to be all the way in the corner. And then as we get into tomorrow, it's going to move... Uh, to Louisiana and Texas again, and then on day three, it's going to slowly start tracking to the east uh, for everybody. Now, this is a snowfall that you are getting, and what you're going to be getting more today of is right here along Pennsylvania, uh, also towards New York. And if you look at it, you can see it build up. This is at four o'clock this afternoon, then more is coming all the way until midnight tonight. And as you go into the morning, it's going to put some more snow and light snow all the way until noon tomorrow as well. And the totals that you're going to be seeing from that is like up, up here towards Pennsylvania. They got some good two and three and some spots with four inches. But some spots is going to get up to seven inches of snow. And I'll show another seven in Ohio. But you're going to get some higher ones like right below Toronto. Uh, we have uh, someone that lives in this area. And it's going to be up to four inches more of snow that could be dropping for y'all. And then as you get to the east, the northeast, uh, you'll see exactly which county, like like right here in New York, it's going to be more towards the lake, getting two and three more inches. But when you get right by Syracuse, it's going to be pockets, because this one's right here, going to be lake effect snow, obviously. But the, as you get further away, it's nothing. Like all this lighter you see, this is a third to a half an inch, and be lucky if you even see it do anything it depends on the temperatures if it even sticks maybe on the grass you will catch it and then when you get over here towards indiana you are also going to be having a little bit of uh, one inch from north to south all the way across the state which is pretty good uh, west virginia you'll get towards uh, almost close to two inches towards uh the rest of the day uh towards the center of west virginia but that's about the most end of the of the snow of it and then you got the second part that's coming from the next storm and i'll go through those storms with you so you can see also what you're going to have for today it's going to be through oklahoma and through kansas and it's not going to be a, a real heaviness uh like a big snow but it's going to be five inches in some spots which is going to be some extra snow that you wasn't expecting this is coming from the second storm and it's going to be going all the way to springfield uh, one and two inches more of snow on that as well. So there is going to be some snowfall coming out of that section. Now let me get you over to the uh, severe weather so we can go through what these storms are going to do for us uh, as well as what's going to be uh, left after this storm because we have that second storm that also is coming. If you remember, I said that we have uh, a second one and a third one. And the third one's going to go from northwest down to the southeast, and that's going to be a really strong uh, storm. 
Now this is loading up as it's loading up, just like I did yesterday. I'm going to go on with our story. And yesterday we did over uh, 10. And today we're going to do uh, Matthew 11. Now here it is, the storm that loaded up for what we have today. You can see it's in the northeast. Let's go through this real quick. Now this is right now this morning is at 9, 10 o'clock. Timestamp is on the left. And you can see why they have the flood uh, warnings, the flash floodings for Maine and also New Hampshire. It's because of this band of rain right here. And it's going to be going for a number of hours until the system moves east and then that's going to be over water. But the snow is also going to continue to fall uh, for y'all as the day goes along. And you can see how it, how it drops. See how it's hit and miss? Some people getting rain, some people getting snow. So it all depends pretty much where you're at. Uh, but y'all know how it rolls with the lake effect snow over there because uh, some people will get a whole bunch of snow and some people will get none. But you can see the dark blues, where it's going to be coming. Uh, but this is, let me play it for you so you can see it real quick. Now this is at noon today. I got it going quick so you can see the motion of it. And going into tomorrow, some more some more storms for the northeast. And that's when the snow comes in for the, the second system. And now the second system is going to start in the south, just like, just like the first one started at. Right here in Texas, going towards Houston. And that's some pretty nasty rain bands, so it could be some flash flooding for y'all down there in Texas. And it's going to go all the way up to Oklahoma and then over Louisiana. And the whole time it's going to be spinning heavy snow, uh, heavy enough, you saw the inches, the five and the worst time looks like it, it like it's going to be tomorrow at six, almost 6 p.m. it's going to be the heaviest and that's when it drops a lot of heavy snow for y'all and then you get freezing rain up here as well but this storm system is going to move to the to the midwest and move to the northeast uh, the last shot we got is almost on the move it's hard to see it we only doing 60 hours anything past that really is not uh, dependable really past uh 24 hours because it does change but you can see the spin of the system of the second system coming after the first is going to be a second one and then the third one's going to come from the north but that's what we have today guys so what i'm going to do i'm going to slow it down so you can see it as it rolls so we you can kind of see a little bit more of your area i know it got going quick but that's the way i like to see the models that way i can see exactly what's going on I like to see them fast. Sometimes the storms look different if you look at them quicker. So God bless you all today. I hope you have a great day for me. Hit that like button if this weather has helped you. And there will be a the second video coming up this afternoon to give you a little more about this second storm, just so you are aware. Matthew 11. And it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding his 12 disciples he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of the Christ, he sent two of his disciples and, and said unto him, Art thou he should, that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and shew John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are clean, are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, that they wear, wear soft clothing are in kings' houses. But what went ye out for, for to see? A prophet? Ye, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he, of whom is, it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. 
and from the days of John the Baptist until the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he hath a devil. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine-bibber a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is just, justified of her children. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of the mighty works were done, because they repented not. Woe unto thee, Chorazin. Woe unto thee, Bethesda. Bethesda, sorry. For if the mighty works which were done on you had been done in Tyre, and Sidon, they would have repented long ago and sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee have been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me and my Father, and no man knoweth the Son, but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of, it, of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest into your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day today. The second storm is going to be a little bit of a problem, but nothing we can handle. Stay smiling. Stay blessed, y'all. All glory does go to God. Amen. <laughs>